when we do our practice test, I want you to remember that you need to do these first two directions to these two numbers because a lot of us forget to do those two. You have to read both sentences and do both directions to both of them. Then on all the rest of these, you are going to do less than, greater than, or equal to in every single circle. We remember our alligator, right? So we know how to do that one. Okay. Then on the next page, we need to make sure and look at important words and underline them or circle them so that we know um, what we're looking for. If it says 10 more, if I'm at 16, does 10 more mean I go one beside it and it's 17? No. no. 10 more means I go where? Down, Down one. So instead of 16, I have 26. So you need to be careful to see if it wants 10 more or one more. Okay, there's a big difference. Um, and then you need to see if it says greater than. This one says, which is true? Does 76 equal the same number as 67? So then we shouldn't mark that one as being true. Okay, this one right here, we need to be very careful on. You need to follow the directions and do what it asks you to do to these number cards first. Then see what numbers you have left over and try to find the answer. Okay. That one is the one that we had to practice a lot for um, a couple of days so that we get used to reading the directions. If it says cross out, do I want those numbers? No, I don't. Okay. If it says circles, do I want those numbers? Yes. So if you circle it, then that is your answer. Do you see the difference? If you cross it out, is that your answer? No. No. If you circle it, is that your answer? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Very good. So, um, these are the same that we just talked about. Read the sentence to see which one. We'll match it, see if it's 10 less or greater than, which number sentence is true. So you need to look at every single one of them to see if it's true. Don't look at the first one and the second one and say, oh, I think it's this one. Look at every single one, okay? I want everyone to get out all of their colorful pages and go to the back. We are going to start this one together. Remember, when we do this one on the back, we always have several directions. So you need to make sure that you are doing all of the directions. It says, Jack has some marbles. He has 10 more red marbles than blue marbles. He has fewer yellow marbles than blue marbles. How many of each color marble could Jack have? So we need to stay organized. I want you to write blank blue. And you can choose how many color marbles or how many blue marbles Jack has. Go ahead and write that now. I should not see the same number 
as your neighbor. Up in the directions, it says he has 10 more marbles that are red. So, down below, I want the red marbles to be 10 more than your blue ones. So write how many red marbles he has. I see mathematicians checking themselves, and I really like that. Make sure it is 10 more and not one more. There is a huge difference. Okay, then it says he has fewer yellow marbles. Did it say how many fewer? No, as long as it's fewer than this number, I don't care what number it is, as long as it's smaller than the blue number. So go ahead and write how many yellow marbles he has. It, the directions say to use numbers, pictures, or words to show your work. Did you do that? Yes, you did. Are we done with this one? Yes, we are. Okay, I'm asking you to do your very best. Think about what we worked on before. Think about your answer. Does it make sense? And make sure that you do what we've done before. Nothing on this is new. 